the first one just walk up, right? Well, you walk up? No, him. Yeah, right about where water is. Yeah, if they're going to show me, you have to go. What do you want to do? You want to cross the street or walk along the side there? Oh, no, I already know. I'm just checking the head right there. In September of 1992, I found out about a program in Washington, D.C. called Shooting Back, in which a photojournalist named Jim Hubbard provided disadvantaged youth with cameras. He instructed the youth to photograph their environment, and the photos I saw fascinated me. I thought that it would be interesting to conduct a similar project, but with video cameras. Through my research, I came in contact with the Creative Arts Workshop for Kids. It was through the workshop that I was introduced to Jaime Wharton, Clay Wharton, LeVar Daisy, and Melvin Beverly. And this is our story. Okay, is that the whole crew on the corner that's going to be hanging out? Is that going to be hanging out? We used to have like, we walk be like, yo, I'm, I'm starving, you know? I'm starving something, yo, let's go, let's go, let's go eat something. When I first proposed to this group the idea of making their own video, I was anticipating a documentary. They, however, suggested a drama. I was reluctant at first because I felt the documentary would best capture the reality of the inner city. But their idea for a script and their commitment to writing it convinced me otherwise. It was the seriousness of their story and the insistence that it was real which intrigued me most. The story is just really about violence and stuff and how it goes down. You know what I'm saying? At the drop of a dime. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you at, you know what I'm saying? In the ghetto, you know what I'm saying? Stuff be happening. You don't even plan it to be, you know what I'm saying? To go down that way. But it just sort of happens. And it's about how the two little kids, you know what I'm saying? Like the younger ones, they got involved with older kids, drug slanging and wilding with guns and stuff. And the price you got to pay if you want to live that lifestyle. That's why basically the film is about. And I was LeVar's best friend in um, video, and then he met, he met this other friend named Jaime, who was doing drugs, so he went off doing drugs for the money. and wouldn't be my friend no more, and, he, and for doing that, he got killed. The story is about, like, you can't just get on the street and do drugs, stuff like that, and think you're going to last forever, keep on getting dope. Because one of your people's probably get locked up, one of your people's probably get killed. You know what I'm saying? One of your people's probably get strung up on the drugs he's selling. So that's what the whole movie is basically about. Right. Writing the story came easy. Writing the script proved difficult. I had to keep them focused on the process and push them to write real dialogue on paper. The process took longer than anticipated. As many times only one, two, or even none would show up for meetings. At times I didn't think the project would get past the script meetings. Jaime's own doubts caused him to drop out of the project for a while. When he returned, he was able to boost the interest of the others, and we were finally able to finish the script. I realized that we needed the creative leadership which he brought to the group if we were going to complete the project at all.